Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the exponential and the logarithmic function. So in this video I'm going to show how to sketch the f inverse. So given the function is log base 10 to x plus 1 and also the graph on the left hand side. So previously I already discussed how to sketch the graph for the function fx. So now I'm going to make use of the function fx to sketch the f inverse. So first, refers to the left hand side. We have a green in color vertical asymptote, which is x is equal to negative 1 or 2. So in order to sketch the f inverse, you have to reflect the situation. Okay, so the reflection axis will be y is equal to x. So now, first, refer to the vertical asymptote x is equal to negative 1 over 2. If you reflect the situation, it will become y. So in this case, y will become negative 1 over 2. So I'm going to use the blue color. Okay, so name it y is equal to negative 1 over 2. So that will be the vertical asymptote for the left hand side. So if you reflect, you will have a horizontal asymptote. So meaning that the value for x and y will be interchanged. So next, referring to the origin. So in this case, if we, inter if we interchange the value x and y, we will still have the origin 0, 0. So let's say this is a value of x, okay, which is a negative, approaching negative 1 over 2. So now let's say this is a value approaching negative 1 over 2. So meaning that we also approaching the value for y negative 1 over 2 if we interchange. Let's say this is a negative 0.4. Okay, 0 0.4. So, if the value of x is negative 0 0.4, we will have the value of y, which is also negative 0 0.7 approximation. So now, if we interchange, it will become negative 0 0.7. Okay, then negative 0 0.4 for the value y. So the situation will be around here. Okay? Approximate. So next we are going to find another value. Let's say this the value is negative. No, sorry. Positive 10. So if the value of x is 10, the value for y will be 1.3. So do remember to interchange, okay, to interchange. So for the right hand side, the value would be 1.3 and 10. Let's say 1.3 is over here, 10 will be up here. Okay, let's see. So basically we already have the draft. So our graph will be something like this. Okay, so that will be the graph for the function f inverse so now let's discuss with the domain okay domain for f inverse so by referring to the graph the domain is negative infinity until infinity so kindly refers to the value of x the left hand side and the right hand side for the range you have to refer to the value of y okay so the minimum value for y would be negative 1 over 2 until positive infinity so here we are and thanks for watching